Dams are impressive and are often wonders of engineering. However, because they restrict water, the potential for destruction is high should something bad happen. History is full of events of major dam failures that have resulted in catastrophic flooding and billions in damages. From the entire mountainside giving way of the Brumadino Dam to the unexpected instant failure of Lake Dunlap Spillway, here are five of the world's largest dam failures in history. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to Mega Cities. Share your thoughts about these dam failures in the comments down below. Number 5. Oroville Dam, California in 2017, the Oroville Dam in California made front page news for all of the wrong reasons. The largest dam in the United States, standing at a height of 770 feet, was built to provide water and electricity to more than 23 million people throughout California. Constructed in 1968, Oroville Dam is situated north of Sacramento in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. It is a key component of the California State Water Project the largest state-owned water storage and delivery system in the country. During one of the wettest winters on record, the lack of maintenance revealed itself in a big way. In February of 2017, rain filled the man-made Oroville Lake to over 150% capacity. Now, Under normal circumstances, water is sent through the power generation plant to maintain water levels. However, when water levels rise above safe limits, the main spillway can be used to control the level of the man-made lake. The main spillway is a 3,000 foot long by 179 foot wide concrete chute that descends roughly 500 feet to the river below. And During emergencies, the nearby unlined spillover can be used, but has never been used since the dam was constructed. As water levels rose, the operators resorted to opening the main spillway to release water from the lake but they soon noticed the water in the spillway was not flowing as designed. Upon inspection, they noticed a massive issue with the spillway concrete foundation. They found it to be severely eroded and was breaking under the pressure of the water. Maintenance requested years prior to keep the dam in good standing was rejected, and the operators were unsure what condition the spillway was in. Now, while this wouldn't be that big of an issue, under normal circumstances, it became a real problem once the volume of water being discharged increased. And as water levels kept rising with the main spillway open, the operator began preparing to make use of an emergency spillover. After clearing trees and moving dirt, the emergency spillover was opened for the first time in the history of the Oroville Dam. The operator was astounded to see that the hillside was rapidly eroding due to the overflow. So it was decided to evacuate 188,000 people downstream of the dam. Luckily, the rain eventually stopped and the water levels began to decrease after several days of using both spillways, allowing the residents to return home. But in total, the cost of the repair to the dam and recovery was close to $1.1 billion. Number 4. Lake Dunlap Dam, Texas in May of 2019, the Lake Dunlap Dam experienced a rare failure called a spillway failure. The 91-year-old dam is located near the town of New Braunfels, Texas, and was constructed to provide power to the state. One quiet morning on May 14, 2019, a large section of concrete failed and a massive portion of the spillway instantly broke free, causing a wall of water to pour out from the dam. The failure immediately drained 10 feet of water from the reservoir and by the end of the day, the man-made lake was nearly empty. The cause of the failure was determined to be simply the old age of the concrete and steel. The dam failure raised questions about all the other old dams across the U.S. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, approximately 2,220 dams are in poor condition and in need of repair across the country and there are over 60,000 dams that are over 50 years old. And the issue isn't that these dams are degrading over time like everything else does. The issue is these dams were built with what would be considered outdated building standards. Something built back in 1930 wouldn't be considered safe these days, with 16,000 dams considered as high risk if a failure were to happen the likelihood of a major catastrophe is increasing. And the worst part is that most of these dams don't have an emergency plan in place for what to do if a major failure occurred. Number 3. Brumadino Dam, Brazil In 2015, the Brumadino Dam failed causing one of the worst dam failures in history. 
The dam is part of the Corrego do Fejo iron mine located in southeastern Brazil's metropolitan area of Belo Horizonte. It is one of the world's worst dam failures as this dam didn't hold back water. It held back toxic sludge called tailings. Tailings are a byproduct from the mining process. On January 25th, 2019, the Brumadino Dam unexpectedly failed. A massive wall of toxic sludge consumed the iron mine while unaware workers kept working. It ripped through the forest and the tailing made its way downstream into the Rio Parapeba River. Camera footage of the dam failure puts the destruction into perspective. The earth-made dam suddenly collapses and gives way, creating a massive wall of mud and debris, knocking down trees and everything in its path. The tailings make their way through the roads of the mine, destroying everything in its way. The forest and river were contaminated, and the residents of the town were severely affected with health issues afterwards. Sadly, 270 people lost their lives, and most were hard-working employees. The dam operator, Samarco, a joint venture between BHP and Vale, announced that Corrego do Fejo Mines Dam was no longer operational and that it was planning to decommission the mine after what is known as the worst dam failure in history. Number 2. Auburn Coffer Dam Dam, California Many mega projects sound pretty good on paper, yet they never get built for one reason or another. The Auburn Coffer Dam in Auburn is one of those mega projects. The Auburn Dam idea was formerly born in 1950 as a solution to prevent floods on the American River. Construction began after 18 years of debate and began with a $5.1 million diversion tunnel to redirect the American River through the mountainside. But everything came to a halt in 1975 when a 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck the Sierra Nevada area approximately 50 miles north of the Auburn Dam. Concerned engineers and geologists felt like the dam wouldn't survive another earthquake, so they canceled the dam construction until better construction methods could be used. By 1979, workers had built a foundation and an earthen coffer dam made of clay, sand, and soil. It seemed the project was beginning to gain traction when unseasonable rains in 1986 proved otherwise. Water quickly filled the Auburn coffer dam to the point that its storage and diversion capacity overflowed. However, an even worse tragedy was avoided thanks to officials' quick decision to lower downstream dam's water levels in anticipation of a dam failure. And this is exactly what happened. Although the loose soil from the Auburn Dam was expected to erode, it did so much more quickly than anyone anticipated. The erosion chewed away at the earth made dam creating a torrent river of mud and debris, resulting in nearly half the dam falling away to the escaping water. Luckily, the officials' quick thinking saved the dams downstream and held the sharp increase in water flow from the dam failure. The collapse sparked renewed interest in constructing a proper concrete dam, but as of today, this has not happened, and the Auburn Coffer Dam is a multi-billion dollar financial black hole that most likely won't ever be built. Number 1. Spencer Dam, Nebraska the Spencer Dam, located in northern Nebraska on the Niobrara River, is the last one on our list of dam failures. Built in 1927 as a hydroelectric dam, the 8-meter tall dam spans 1,127 meters across and consists of two power generators to power the local region. In March of 2019, after a colder winter than normal, a major rainstorm dropped 50 centimeters of rain in just one evening. This caused the excess ice from the winter to rapidly melt and start flowing along the river. The sharp increase in flow broke up the remaining ice-covered river and created a tsunami ice flow that made its way to the dam. On March 14, 2019, the dam was breached by the unprecedented large ice run. The failure allowed an 11-foot wall of water to escape, destroying dozens of buildings, a bridge, and a water pipeline downstream. And this wasn't the first time the dam suffered damage from an ice run. It occurred three times before this, in 1935, in 1960, and again in 1966. However, both the owner and the regulator had little knowledge of the dam's susceptibility to ice runs due to the passage of time, employee turnover, and destruction of records in the 1966 ice run. So no measures were taken to adequately improve the defenses of the dam. Even in 2018, authorities inspected the dam and warned that deficiencies existed that could lead to a catastrophic failure in rare extreme storm events. Sadly, nothing was done and it just goes down as another dam failure that could have been prevented by proper planning. 
So what do you think of these damn failures? And do you know of any other projects that might have been even worse? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see more about similar mega project failures, watch one of the videos right here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.